to eat I'll be showing you what I eat every single day have my gallon of water over here I don't care how healthy you're eating I don't care if you're trying to lose a couple of pounds or lose 40 pounds the best thing you can do is get one of those so I'm supposed to get 80 grams and um, I'm also gonna add two scoops of whey protein I'm gonna put them in there and then put it in the mic 142 so two scoops of whey if you see it's actually 31 grams so per scoop so 31 grams is one scoop so I'm gonna put some water into here and I'm gonna put it in the microwave but always remember to measure your food Throughout way too long, I thought that um, food this it was more like uh, you had to find this specific type of food that you could eat any amount of food. There's none. Any food that you ingest over your calories, it's gonna be stored as an energy source. And by an energy source, I mean fat. So just keep that in mind. There we go. High intensity interval training done out of the way finally i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna have after my cardio protein pam so i get asked a lot if i should measure it this is one scoop right Look at it, 21 grams. And I'm supposed to get 31, the full portion is 31. So therefore, I uh, need 10 more grams. So protein, 31 grams, which is gonna be 120 calories and 24 grams. So now I added a little bit of coffee, just a little coffee, boom, and I'm going to put some little bit of water. You can put almond milk, uh, just make sure that you count in it, uh, but you can pretty much put what you want. I'm going to use water and maybe two cups of Splenda, two packets of Splenda. Now I got to do a bunch of work, um, I got to hire a truck, I got to do a bunch of stuff. Uh, my brother is coming in on 10 days and we gotta move, I gotta move, I hate moving. Anyhow, so I'm gonna work for a little bit and then I'm gonna, that was meal number two, which was pretty much um, after my high intensity interval training. It doesn't really matter if you have your protein uh, at a certain time, it just, your numbers. I love, that's one of my favorite snacks. Uh, high in protein um, It's gonna be 25 grams for 120 calories as I said before what matters is um, Your energy levels versus your how much your food you're getting in throughout the week, so What matters at the end of the week is how much food you're taking in versus how much energy you're spending um, Anyhow, I'll see you in the next clip Uh, I'm gonna show you my third meal of the day. So, one of my biggest things is measuring the food. This, all of this, is accounted for. Because as you saw on Sunday, I took this home and I weighed everything. Because I, I, I like to know how much am I getting out of everything. So, let me show you the part. So over here, you're gonna have eight ounce, a 9.4 ounce of chicken. Then you're gonna have 400 grams of rice, 50 grams of vegetables, and about 40 grams of lettuce with tomatoes. Um, that, if you go into my fitness pal, that's about 600 calories. Uh, let me show you exactly. So, chicken, 
210 calories and protein 46 grams then you're gonna have the rice which is gonna be 520 calories um, and it's gonna be 114 grams of carbs and you're also gonna see that I'm measuring everything so with the lettuce and everything the vegetables is gonna be 56 calories and 8.2 grams of carbs. It's still carbs and you still have to count it. Anyhow, I'll see you in the next video. So this whole thing is going to be 786 calories and 50 grams of protein, 49 grams of protein. So I'm about to head over to my workout. Put you over here. Uh, I'm going to leave you over here because I don't think I have a lot of battery to coming into the camera with the gym but I'm gonna show you that was my pre-workout meal so you basically have two meals in which you have to have carbs uh, you pre-workout and you post-workout in your pre-workout you basically want to get a, as much carbs as you want as you your pre-workout you're gonna have a, a, a dense amount of carbs basically that you can go into the gym not feeling full but it's basically used for energy so what carbs are gonna do is they're gonna give you enough energy to go and lift and after you work out you want to have something that acts as a fast acting carbs which are sugars uh, it can be a fruit if you eat healthy or uh, if you're doing it fit your macros you can do ice cream or whatever you want just make sure that you're counting it but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna have after that was my pre-workout meal with the rice and everything that was my pre-workout meal and now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna have after my workout is done. Gentlemen, before I go ahead and show you my last meal, I wanna talk to you about something really important. Because I think it's important to the point that we, where we are today. Um, there will never be a point in your life that every single thing in your life would accommodate to help you achieve something so life gave us the opportunity to create every single balance that we need in order to achieve what we want that's a quote from Eric Thomas because I think it's important to the point where we are today nothing in your life will ever be perfectly accommodated so you can start that new business or start that start to lose 100 pounds you have to take that first step and then that second and then everything everything that you learn you start to apply it whether it's in the gym or in a business or whatever you think but i think it's important because i'm seeing a lot of people just just quit because they're not seeing the results and uh, they're expecting results one or two weeks afterwards when it's actually more, more like a marathon. And uh, to run a marathon, you train every single day and you do every single thing in your power to get you there. A lot of people just quitting. A lot of people just quitting and thinking that this is just a game and uh, it's not, it's actually not and uh, I just lose hope sometimes of people that have trusted me with their progress and at the end of the day they just don't care so they started one day super motivated and then and they say we're gonna do this together yeah 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 let's do it I'm super excited we're gonna train together we're gonna train every day at 6 a.m. First day, 6 a.m., go. So, are you counting your calories? Oh, no, 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 it's okay, I have to go to the beach. Are you, are you training today? No, no, not today, I have to go to the beach. I didn't train today. Okay. So, did you? are you gonna train tomorrow? No, tomorrow I'm gonna be busy, I have to go to school. And there's never gonna be a point that you have every single thing accommodated in your life to achieve that little thing that you want. If you want something in your life, you have to go get it. 
that's it. It's real simple. Anyways, now I'm gonna show you my say, what? Fourth meal. Which one should I try today? This one? Chocolate cookies and cream. Three hundred forty. Definitely. So, you just finished working out. What do you want? You want two things. I have to lift the weight. You want some sort of protein, like this one. This one is one, it's gonna be 220 calories and 22 grams of protein. And this is my favorite ice cream in the world. Halotop. Hey listen, if you own this company and you wanna pay me to promote your ice cream, I'll be happy to do it. Um, anyway, anyhow, the whole pen is 320 calories, so basically you're eating a Snickers bar in the whole thing. It might give you cancer, but not get you fat. Uh, why you wanna do why you wanna do sugar? Why you wanna do sugar after you're working out? Uh, after working out. Uh, basically you've been using you your glucose levels for all the lifting of the weights for 45 minutes or one hour so now you need to replenish your glucose levels with some sugar sugar uh, fast acting carbs like maybe eat a banana something like that something like high in the glycemic index is gonna give you a lot of energy back so you can go on with your day I, I prefer to use sugar so this one some simple sugars like this uh, this is um, three, 320 calories um, about 72 grams of carbs and 20 grams of protein. So I'm gonna eat the whole thing if you don't mind. Oh, man. So the whole thing over here is gonna be 540 calories and 40 grams of protein, which is really nice for my post workout nutrition. Amazing. I think I'm, I might get a, a, a haircut before I go to work, and uh, I don't know, I might eat my last meal later. Night. Now, I normally wouldn't do this, but I'm gonna have my last meal now. I'm gonna finish all my calories because I have to go to work. I don't like eating at work, so. Um, I'm gonna eat this full um, ham and cheese sandwich, and I'm gonna eat this meat met met metrics, uh, protein at 100%. Uh, so the calories in this one is gonna be 420 uh, with protein, wait, the hell is the protein in here? Protein, 32 grams, and the calories in this one's are gonna be 340 uh, with protein, protein, 25 grams. There we go. So my calories for the protein, protein 242 grams, carbs 336, fat 56 grams, with 2736 calories, and I still have 14 left. Perfect. Finally, the day is here. Let me show you something real quick. This is the place where I've been living for the past, sorry for the mess, for the past uh, six months. This is where I wrote the book. This is where I did a lot of things. So this is pretty much where I've been living for the past six months. He has a nice view, can't complain. Look at this view. Anyhow, so, and then in the next clip, first and foremost, I'm gonna move everything. I'm gonna get in the U-Haul, and then I'll see you in the next clip. Some three days fucking later. It's three days later. Hey, listen, listen. Um, I moved, finally moved. I wanna show you this place that this is gonna be our new headquarters. You, you ready for that? You ready? Wait. Look at this place. Let me take wait. Look at this place. Oh my God, I can see Miami from here. Look at the view that I have. Okay, so this is gonna be, it's supposedly to be the living room, but I'm gonna turn it into my office. Um, so we're gonna, I'm, I wanna set up everything over here. I'm sorry for the box, by the way. Uh, but I wanna, I wanna set up the logo right here, somewhere in here. I wanna set up the logo of the company. And uh, this is my view, look at this. And uh, look at the buildings. 
Now, the beauty about this place is, look at that place over there. That's a place where I run every morning. So I go in the morning, wake up, boom, I have it in front of me. Um, this is, um, so basically I wanna have our own studio over here. So you can come in here, set up the camera, uh, record a video, and then, uh, do, I'm sorry for the box by the way. This is the kitchen. It's a complete mess, I know. Um, this is Pablo's bedroom over here. It has a nice view as well. It's, uh, I think his bathroom is nicer than mine. But anyways, um, so yeah, this is, it. This is the, the new headquarters. Uh, this is my new bed. I don't have any furniture yet. I don't have a furniture place. Uh, my journals, my, my bathroom. Everything is pretty much still in the boxes. And uh, look at the view that I have. Look at this. It's insane. Floor to ceiling, floor to ceiling windows. And um, my stuff over there. I have all the boxes still. I have a lot of stuff that I have to move. I want to leave the desk right here. I don't want to, I don't, no, listen. Listen, wait. So I don't want to, there we go, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. I don't want to turn this place into a, a, a a furnished living room, especially because I, I know that I know I can do better and I, I want to be able to work from home. I want to be able to uh, set up my place, everything that, I, that we can work from here because I love working. I love working and I don't want to have a, a couch in here where I can watch TV from time to time. I want to work from here. I want to wake up, go to work. Before I go to sleep, go to work and uh, I'll be answering my, my business in maybe one week. I don't know. Let's see. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna be announcing my business in one or two weeks. I don't know, we'll see. Thank you very much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. I'm still waiting. Subscribe!